Here we are at Wellingborough Embankment. And uh, a little while ago, well, last week, I went live on Facebook and we walked from the lower lock all the way along here to um, that corner up there where the um, where it tells you where to turn. So I think now is the time that we take a walk up towards Chester House and see if our bridge is being finished. So, oh, look at that. So, yeah. Hello, people. Hello, James. How you doing, buddy? Awesome. Hey, Alfie. How you doing? I recorded a thing. Alfie's channel. Please go over, subscribe to his channel. He's a fresh one. Another influence I've managed to get in there. And, uh, yeah. We'll uh, see him rise up. Live or dry, die trying. How you doing, buddy? All right. Where are you up? just um yeah i'm just gonna finish me thing and then uh we'll get cracking and um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk down that way and we'll have a look um been watching how it's made vibes on discovery science yeah i, I do like watching that actually on the discovery channel i've been watching um drain the ocean which is, they've been looking to uh find the lost city of atlantis it's been pretty cool Hello, that British train spotter. How you doing, buddy? Just give it five minutes for people to kind of make their way up there, and that way I'm not feel, um, filming them. But evening, Jeff. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. Right, he's on his feet. Let's have a look a minute. Hello, my beautiful lot. Yeah, baby face. Uh, I've managed to sort out my GoPro as well. It may get a little bit windy. It may get a little bit windy. Um, I tried hooking up my little microphone, um, but these new phones, you've, yeah, they haven't actually got the old microphone socket. <laughs> I'll do me best. Anyway, right, let's keep walking. Uh, there's a few places of interest along here that I want to kind of have a look and explain to you all. Uh, oh, you see these submerged rocks? Yeah. Oh, there's a little bit of a theory going that it was put in so uh, boats couldn't ever moor up here. Another thing by Wellingborough Council, apparently. But then talking to some people in the planning department, they do actually state that it's because this is slipping into the uh, into the river. So they put a load of blocks there to stop that from happening. <laughs> right. So there's quite a few people out tonight, actually. I suppose now that the weather's nice and cool, people are coming out and taking their beautiful walks. This is the River Nen, unless you go over to Bedford or. Uh, Peterborough Ways, then we call it the Neen. <laughs> so, um, da -da. yeah, hello. I'm all right, Purple. Going to the London tomorrow for a rail tour. Awesome. Mm, I'll have to have a look at that. Um, when I was at Watford Junction yesterday, I saw 37. Ah, oh, with a 720. Nice. I, I kind of missed that in the morning because we had... As you know, I work down at Wellingborough Museum now, and we had a massive event on um, Amphibians, Reptiles and Insects Association, where the museum saw over 300 children come in, and it was uh, very busy, and I was in the element, because I love it fast-paced. So. Oh, oh. Sorry, there's a food tree here. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little bit hungry at times. So, so. Turn this round so you can see. Delete the video. Why? Why? Don't delete the bloody video. Oh, there's one. It's just too hot. Someone's been down here picking plumps. Oh, it's good. Oh, they're up there. I can't reach any of these. Can I even? Dun, dun, dun. 
Oh, come to fuck us. Yeah, look at that. I've got one. <laughs> mm. Put that. Put that in my pocket. Turn this round. There we go. Get that in my pocket too. There you go. Look. Tiny little plums. Mm. <laughs> mm. Nothing better than free food. All right. There's some people here. So when I get past them, I'll switch the camera back around. So I don't want to film other people, do we? No. Nah. Mm. Ah. Mm. Turn this round. Mm. Right. Ah. First point of interest. I love this one. Now, this is an old railway bridge that used to link up both Wellingborough stations. Yes, Wellingborough had another station. And to be honest, it was Wellingborough's first station, which was on the other side of the big Whitworths building. You can get past the blooming tree. Oh, there. So where Whitworths is, on the other side of that used to be Wellingborough London Road Station. And it was there before the Midland Station was built on the other side. So this railway here was to link up the Leicester to Hitchin line, which is now the Midland Main Line, which is uh, just over there. So this railway bridge used to link them up so the freight could uh, take the Ironstone across to Wales and also bring down the, uh, the coal from up north. Of course, the coal we needed to uh, keep everything going. I mean, look at the size of this. Look, this is like sewage. One of the main sewage lines. And this one goes all the way through to Ditchford, where you've got Anglian Water, if you ever know. So, yeah, let's keep going. Do, do, do. God, I love this turnaround button. That's well handy. Yeah, so um, I'm going to take a walk straight up to Chester Farm and take you log for the journey because I want to see how this bridge is getting on. So I did do a previous video and I sent the drone up so you can see this um, temporary road they're building coming down. It's got a load of limestone and some matting on top. And that was about two weeks ago. So I'm quite interested to see what's going on. And to be fair, I don't know if you look, can I zoom into that? There we go. So they're building a new bridge. We've already got a bridge there. Do, 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 there. But then we've also got another bridge coming in here. There's containers and hay bales up there. Anyway, let's keep going. Mm. 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 So anyway, how's your lot? How's your days been? Been enjoying today. We had a busy one. Because yesterday it was little Thomas's birthday. It was, oh, where we go? The damn auntie was having strikes. Yeah, I know. I know. So no train day, which is a good thing, because yesterday I was working for Tommy's birthday. So then I kind of spent the day with them today. It's nice. Sorry, what's this? Hmm. No, no, sorry. I won't be able to read them until the next person comments. <laughs> kind of miss them. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, so all this land down here now has been bought by Bovis Homes, the developer here in Wellingborough. They're kind of leading the, the main development site. Stanton Cross. I can't get broken. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Oh, why don't YouTube leave the uh, comments up long enough? There we go. Jeff, learned so much from your walks, volunteering at Chester House and watching the bridge. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't volunteer at Chester House. No, 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 sorry. I don't even volunteer anywhere. I work, fully paid. How you doing, Josh Spokes? I work fully paid down at Wellingborough Museum. It's £12 an hour, so, yeah, I'll make good use of me time and make sure that their money is well spent. And so far, I believe I've made them proud. I'm all right, Josh, I'm all right. Holy cow, says <laughs> James Mezzer. You're right, mate. <laughs> How you doing, all right? Yeah. See? People just walk it. This is the, uh, the Nen, or Neen, 
Oh, you volunteer there. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, where's my bloody bridge? <laughs> um, so um, I do need to make my way up to Chester House. I really need to get there. But I have to stick to me guns and wait for this bridge to be built. Hopefully it can be done by September where I'll be able to go up and have a chat with the Nenscape team. Now, Nenscape team are the ones who are kind of making sure all these beautiful green spaces all link up along the River Nen and they implement paths. They ask for funding to get bits sorted out, to be fair. And I have one big question, because one of you wonderful viewers out there actually told me that funding had gone in for an extension of the well of the greenway from Bruston Lakes all the way through to Wellingborough, which means this horrible path here will all be sorted out. And you'll be able to take your wheelchairs or you'll be able to take your bikes without worrying about this lot scratching the nuts out your leg. So yeah, so I need to get up to Chester House just to see that and go speak with them. A little bit angry with Chester House, to be fair. I suppose it's not their fault. It's the council's. Anyway, um, I have a problem with my upload. It says this is standard definition SD, but then needs to finish processing. Yeah, 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 right. When you upload a video to YouTube, Alfie, you just let it let it render itself. When you've got a HD video and you've edited it, edited it <laughs> yeah, yourself, then it kind of needs a long time to kind of... Um, uh, render it properly to put onto YouTube. Now, usually if you go onto the video after it's done standard definition, you can click it and um, sometimes it will say 1080p. And when it says 1080p, then I let it up because then it's good enough for most TV screens. Um, but if you wanted it in 4K, then you just, just wait 24 hours and usually it sorts itself out. If I were you, Purple, I guess I'm... If I were you, Purple, I guess I'd learn something new about describing abandoned areas and other things. Oh, right. Abandoned areas. Right. Here's one. Here's one. Looks like a bit of a lake, doesn't it? And all it's got is a bridge that goes down onto there. I thought, hang on. This don't look right. That looks like a river to me. And it does look like a river, doesn't it? But it just stops just around the corner. But this is the original River Eye. So where you've got the cut, where the river eyes runs through Finden, all the way from Ketrin, Burton Latmoe, and the rest of it, it used to just come straight down and feed onto the river. Then here, look, let's just check this. Yeah, and feed onto here. So it's the common fluid, common fluid, common fluid. Yeah. But when they did all the gravel extraction, they now moved the river then, uh, the river eyes, to feed the lake down there, just on this other side. And now it enters the then down at the next bridge, which we'll get to in a bit. And I'll explain that too. <laughs> um, it's skate park Jake. Oh, Jake sat in bed with a broken ankle. And what else do I have to watch apart from purple vision? Oh, mate, Jake. Um, so young Jake here is one of the lads that have been orchestrating our new skate park at Bassett's Park. And um, I believe we should do a little bit of a collaboration. And what we want to do is we want to set up a skate event. Or no, well, no, just a skate park event. So if you've got one of those uh, scooters, then we'll set a little thing up for you. Rollerblades, um, BMXing, and um, also skateboards. So yeah, I think it will be pretty cool. We'll see if we can get some judges. Of course, Jake will have to be a judge because he's broken his ankle. And um, yeah, we'll have like a bit, a bit of a competition down there and just show people how much unity actually goes down there. And I reckon we could make it an absolutely epic event. So probably do it in September, but I need to chat with Jake properly and we'll work it out. Right, back onto history. So where these buildings are up here, this is Leyland Estate. Thank you, Purple, giving me a fate. Me fake for your YouTube. Only problem is I need to get 1K subscribers and 4K watch. Yeah, it comes in time. I mean, my railway channel still isn't quite there yet. I still need 140 subscribers, no, 137 subscribers. So we're nearly there. Anyway, so Leyland Estate, which used to be um, a quarry. And from that quarry in 1852, there was a tramway 
just just for horse and carts that would come out and come along the lakes here to a dock which was right here i mean this is this is a proper dock look yeah and then they'll be able to unload the ironstone onto the canal boats didn't know yeah there was but yeah you have to go back into eric tonks's ironstone books um it was a he was the go-to man for all of this ironstone stuff but he died about a decade ago and to be honest until i got that information i was hoping i could uh could talk with him but i managed to find a very good friend of his up at the urchester narragage museum so that was uh enlightening talk to him and from there they told us where northamptonshire's first ever railway was and it belonged to the great grand the great junction canal over in blissworth so yeah we've done another video of that just type in northamptonshire's oldest railway on purple vision and it'll bring it up it's a good one Oh, we've got some, we've got some youths. Shall I film them? Shall I film them? Anyway, oh. let's make sure they're all behaving themselves. So yeah, this is Wellingborough Upper Lock. And there's an almighty weir on the other side. So, oh yeah, there's no rubbish though. Yeah, they're a bit young, so we'll have to... Uh, We'll go back on my side. Uh, you don't mind going live then, do you? No. Two minutes, then no, it's too late. It's too late, lads. I'm only walking through. Yeah. Uh, I've got 15 people so far. How are you doing all right? Good. <laughs> uh, uh, on YouTube. I know, what's your YouTube? What's your YouTube? Big Purple YouTube. Vision. <laughs> yeah, you, you are. You are. I am. Yeah, so the young lad here I used to go school at Hatton with his dad. Big shout out Willie Irvine. What a legend. Yeah. <laughs> you should know where your kids are. What's your YouTube? Purple Vision, bro. Bit of shameless promotion here, I think. <laughs> Subscribe. Yeah. Yes, bro. Respect. Nice. You'll learn a lot from there, mate. Ah, oh, right. Anyway, just uh Oh, oh, hang on a minute. What's going on over here? Sorry, so <laughs> there you go. I just got myself an extra subscriber. Lovely stuff. Oh god, you can smell the chemicals here. Oh god, Bennett. Oh, there's a heron. Look at that. Tight lines, buddy. Tight lines. But oh, there's no stabilization on this YouTube. Look at that. And that epic. That's awesome, isn't it? God, love it. Anyway, much more to see. And why are there hay bales over on that other side? What do you need hay bales for when you're building a new road? Hey, yes, bro. How you doing? <laughs> Still in the background there when it was just typed on. Lovely stuff. Lovely. But yeah, Chester House. Still a little bit for Paul. Purple. Paul. Lovely. And Jamie Brady says. Leave a gate, always how you found it. Especially when it goes across farmers' fields, because they have livestock, and if you don't shut the gate, off it goes. Oh, look at this. It'd be nice if I had some stabilisation here, wouldn't it? Hello, I was just at the bit behind you. Yes, <laughs> KO. <laughs> Back there, nice. Oh, you saw me at Wandsford. Ah, one of the lads from Wandsford. What a legend. Nice one. Oh, yeah, I tell you what, Jamie keeps going back to that bridge. He's got really good now. We can just jump straight on the parapet and jump in. Although it does take him three beers before he can do it and get the confidence. But yeah, yeah, that, that bridge, that was something special, that was. I mean, I weren't quite well that day either. I didn't realise it until I had uh, 
I started swimming back upstream. <clears throat> yeah, the bridge is sick. It really is, mate. It really is. Uh, where am I now, Josh? I am. Let's point this. You see Wellingborough Viaduct right down the back there. There it is. Beautiful. So, so you know where I am. Right, this is the, no the new common fluid for the River Eyes. And usually there's some big fat fish down here. It's too ripply, you can't see. At least the river levels are back up. Lovely, that bit around it is wonders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've been down here clearing. Um, yeah, let's do this way. This way's a bit better. Hello, Connor. How you doing, buddy? You managed to get yourself off that computer yet? Yeah. Be nice to see you down at the museum at some point, Connor. Do 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 do. Oh, that's quite pretty. God, look at the flower head on that. I mean, most of you don't like flowers, but I can appreciate it. Do 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 do. Oh right, this is a uh, an old abutment for the London and North Western Railway. There was a big bridge here that managed to see the the railway from London Road Station come across here, and then it went under the railway just up there. It went under the London Midland Scotland Railway just up there, and it built it up that way towards uh, Ditchford and Earthlingborough. Yeah. Ooh. God, look at that water. Oh, do we jumping in there, eh? Well, let's keep going then. Do do. Oh, look at these stingers. Look, my legs are going to get it, boy. Oh, ow. Oh, no, don't care. Don't care. Ow. Oh, my what? That's good stuff, that. Hmm. Do 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 ow <laughs> run run as fast as you can see this stuff here this is an invasive species and if you've got this in your garden hello lexi if you've got this stuff in your garden i am excuse me legally allowed to trespass in your garden and rip it out no one can stop me Strange little. Same if you've got a river or stream going through your garden. As long as I stay in that stream, I can walk through your garden. I mean, not like I want to. I'm, I don't want someone to come walking through my garden the same I wouldn't want someone else. But when you own a massive load of land and you say private, not allowed, or members only, giant members, <laughs> then uh, I'll, I'll use the river to cross your land. Well, we can see the bridge now. Did it for stop, so it stops shaking. There it is. That's where we're going, because just there is just a the house. So we'll just go check on it, see how we get there. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. So um, another thing to kind of point out as well, I mean, you can't see it from this side, but just on the other side of this viaduct bridge is a load of work being done behind the, uh, the, the sporting lake that's there. So what they've done is they managed to dig into a whole mountainside and flattened it to create more wetland space. But why would you be wanting to put in flood compensation? Hmm, compensate. If compensating for the land you're taking. Ah, John J. Lab, nice evening. Congratulations on your new job. Congra superb news. Please for you, mate. Yep, and little Tommy's doing well as well. So thank you very much. Well, hopefully, I can make the biggest difference down there with my time and energy. I'll still be doing my YouTube videos, and now I've got a new phone, I can go live a lot easier and a lot better for you. Don't have much internet on my new phone, so we're tethering. <laughs> Seems to work. Amanda Harding sent me a friend's request. Ah, ah of course, Suzanne Reeves. Oh, lovely. 
wonderful family. I mean, look at this lake. Shall we see if we can get down a bit closer? Ah, uh, I am a water baby. Always have loved the water. Yeah. Don't get much better than that. Beautiful. Oh, we've got 20 people viewing at one time. Uh, water baby. Um, yeah, spend most of my life around water. Love water. Love water. In the same way I'm a summer baby too. Nice evening for a walk. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, bit of a water baby. Well, water baby actually is someone that was born into water. You know, like one of them bath bits, but... I use it as a term, someone who enjoys the water more than most. I love it. Just like a um, <laughs> rubber dinghy unicorn ride coming down the net. That was pretty cool. Your bike completely... What? Time the, the derailleur broke and my bike is so unreliable. Then may I make a suggestion, Alfie? Down Oxford Street, downtown. Um, is it Oxford? No, it's not. It's Cambridge Street. Opposite the uh, Sam's Chicken, oh, opposite Sam's Chicken, um, there's a bike shop and it's run by one of the elders of Wellingborough that have been in the town for a long, long time. And he's, he's fairly priced. Go see him. He's a lovely bloke. Just tell him purple sent you. He's a good one, mate. May cost you a little bit, but at least you have your bike back. It's reliable. So I miss you, Alfie. You're always coming to the station, watch some trains because you've got your bike. No, you haven't got your bike. It's a blooming long walk from Finden. I know. I did it twice there and back in one weekend for Petrol Hedonism Live. Yeah. yeah I wish I could go for a bloody walk. Why can't you? Grim Dank McDanker. Well, you've got, you got an ankle bracelet. You're not allowed to come out and walk. I'm no different to anybody else. But this is nice. This this has all been trimmed. Hmm. Just make you think. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I know what this could be for. I mean, this may be Wellingborough Fishing Lakes actually come out to mow this and have it a little bit lower. But my speculation. You need the address. Downtown Cambridge Street. Look on the right hand side. Opposite Sam's Chicken, Chicken, you'll find the bike shop. Can't miss it, Alfie. Unless you come down to Wellingborough Museum for about half past four, I'll walk you around the corner and I'll show you where it is. But he shuts at five, so can't see how that works, but I can at least show you. By the way, where two rivers meet is a confluence. That's it, confluence. <laughs> I'm not showing off. No, 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 mate. No, no, because I can never get it right. The confluence. Confluence. Com meaning common, fluence meaning in fluid. Now I get what Jamie Brady was saying, the confluence. Thank you for actually writing it. Hearing Jamie Brady from the back whilst he's rowing in front, someone's mouth is facing the other way. I can't really hear. This ear has been in too many sound systems. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, look, look, look at all this. Look, it's actually been trimmed. So what this might be is so they can bring down a bit of equipment to help unload. No, no, because that's not right. Because everything's all going to be done from Chester House side. So maybe they have just maintained this, just trimmed it back a bit before it catches fire. It's so dry. Yeah. You know, if we get to Chester Bridge there, I might take a little walk up to the viaduct because you all asked me about the viaduct. And it is a marvellous piece of engineering. Like watching porn up. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a sound system here as well. I can't wait. But... Oh, right. Of course. Grim Dank McDanker. Of course. Of course. <laughs> see, all I see is doom. Oh, mate. Um, I need to get I need to get a bike with a sidecar, Jake. Can you come out with us then? <laughs> Yeah, sound system here, mate. And if it goes too loud, it kind of rattles this one here. That's, that's pretty bad. You know, when you've got a massive, great rig in front of you, 
and you see it, and the bottom ones have got the bins, and you think, yep, my head is going in there. Yes. You regret it later in life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, let's turn this around so you know where we are. Yeah, we're getting there. Do, 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 do. Lovely walk. Oh, half an hour so far, folks. Oh, what we got? What I hate is when you upload to anything social media. Yeah, yeah, all right. Um, Urban Rot. That's such a beautiful walk along that. Yeah, it really is, mate. It's one of the best DR, I think. Uh, Urban Rot. What a legend. I think we met at Urban... Well, we kind of crossed paths at um, um, Siwo Aerodrome, where there was an awesome abandoned shelter in there. Uh, I'm on a roll today. Would love that purple taxis, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, hi from Finden. Hello, Callum. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Finden. Hmm. Well, I don't know if you can see them houses there are Stanton Cross, so probably in that direction would be. Uh, yeah, where are we going? Purple's taxis. Yeah. Um. My my friend, this, this gate. Border, Jake, he's, um, hold on. God, turn around, you idiot. There you are. Hi. <laughs> um, our, our friend Jake, who's trying to get the, uh, Bassett's got the new Bassett's Park skate park put in. Um, he's broke his ankle and he's saying he'd love to come out and join me on these walks, but he can't because of his ankle. So I said, I'll get my bike sorted, put a little side cart on and take him up. And he's just come back purple taxis. And I like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all right, Callum. Yeah, yeah. Enjoying myself, to be fair. Living my best life. Got a little bit angry at a bin earlier. <laughs> kind of tripped up. Felt a bit of anger, so I took it out on the bin. And now I'm all happy again. So you can't be happy all the time. Sometimes you do get a little bit angry inside. And unless I can find someone on Wellingborough News and Info to kind of pick on for their stupidity, then that anger kind of builds up. So I either take big, long walks to deal with it, or I go find myself a wheelie bin. They've got the right amount of spring back to give it a good punch and come back and punch and back, punch and back, and it's great. Love it. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see that. They've, they've actually cordoned off the whole area. Oh. We'll go up to the bridge, see what else we can see, see if we can see it a bit better. Oh, but there's that makeshift road. Look. So it's just limestone with some matting on top. And that's coming all the way down here. And along there to then replace this bridge. <laughs> Pick on Mr. Unusual. Yeah. Yeah, with a name like that. You know what? I was sticking up for the uh, the, 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 the great pop star, um, Tom Jones. But then I did a bit of research and he's no better than Prince Andrew. So, yeah. This guy who's given a bit of Josh. Your message was retracted, mate. And by the way, do you get paid for your drone videos? Because you told me you don't bother. Look, Alfie, shut up, mate. Alfie, why are you even talking about that? Save that for another day, will you? Please. Bloody idiot. Sorry. Certain questions should be asked, asked through Messenger. Like, you message me every night. Leave that off the live channel if you don't mind. Thank you. Great content as always. Will you be going to call me today? Yes, Corby. Whoa, yeah. I mean, I've just done a video of RAF Collie Weston, which is just on the outskirts of Corby. That's an absolutely beautiful video. So if you get a chance, watch that one after this if you can. Oh, wow. So I haven't actually seen this yet, but there's a big area they've made ready to build this bridge. I don't know if I can get a vantage point. Yeah, I will be going to Corby at some point. Yeah, because I want to do a big video actually on the steelworks. So I've been around and had a look at Calfit Quarry and then followed the dismantled railway in. But I do need to go back and actually do a video on Tata Steel. That needs to be done. Right, let's have a look then. Can't get on. Oh yeah, look, look at that. So they haven't actually started building the bridge yet. 
but they're going to build the bridge in one structure right there and then they're just going to lift it straight in place and put on here i do believe there's two bridges there's another one huh. yeah where, where that sign is in the back there there's another bridge there as well so they've got to do two bridges found loads of fossils at corby cannot remember where it was but it was fascinating yeah there's a load of um, decent bits in corby I'd love to go back there. I mean, it was only like £12 on the train. So this is a new dock as well. I'm originally from London and enjoy finding out history and knowledge in and around Northamptonshire. Well, you're in the right place. Because as I learn, the aim is, is to teach you guys at the same time. Um, do we end the video here? Or do we go up to the island? I know what my missus would say. Get out. Yeah. Sorry, Leah. I want to see the. I want to see the viaduct. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, Alfie. It's all right. You know, I've always got love. And uh, the thing about me is, I may. Uh, some people out there, they have an argument with a friend and then dash the whole friendship off. And I hate that. So all that time and effort you've spent building up a relationship, a certain kind of ship, with someone to then have an argument to have the whole friendship thrown out the window. Just because you can't accept a different opinion or can't accept something going on. What was that? But I'm not that guy to fall out with someone. I'll tell you straight, it's just because... Yeah, <laughs> I've always been that guy. And you get on better in life when you say things straight. Yeah, sorry for showing up. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. You know I love you. Yeah, off to the viaduct. I mean, look at that. Oh, beautiful. And have you noticed something else as well? Not one single train has come by. Not one. We'll have a look at open train caps if there is actually anything coming. Pick up your GoPro and run, 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 run as fast as you can. Pick up your sticks and run, run. Ah, right, okay, there's a, a lovely lady that's coming down to Wellingborough Museum on Monday because she has found some curb edgings, which I have recently discovered at Wellingborough Museum. So. She's coming down to the museum, so I can give her a bit of history. I'm going to dig out some bits from Barb, the archiver. Oh, yeah, we're all off. Red light, 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 shut, red light, red light. <laughs> Do you want me to show you what I'm looking at here? This is uh, the signalling for, for Wellingborough. And... Um, to be honest, it's it's pretty amusing actually. Oh, that's sharp, bro. Sorry. Da, da, da. Right, so this is this is Wellingborough. Look, this way to London, this way to the north and Kettering. Look at all these red lights. The whole railway is shut off. No one's working that. Oh, that's Kettering. All them red lights. Look. So yeah. Da, da, da. The whole railway is. Uh, I'm striking, and I, I, I'm fully with them, all across the board, farmers, truckers, train drivers. Uh, what's going on now isn't very nice to anybody. I mean, even us down on the bottom, who aren't nothing to do with that, are taking the pinch because of, because of some kind of crisis that's being created where the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. But it's okay. Labour Party are going to put a price cap price cap so we don't get no higher or no lower so we continue paying this extortion rate right now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh look kestrel is that kestrel he's just sitting on the post oh, there he goes oh there he goes oh goody all right anyway enough of that ding, ding. Uh, my video is going to be a big one. I hope so. Out of int out of interest, where in London? Um, what do you mean, where in London? Sorry, Jeff. 
Sorry, Jeff. What, what do you mean? Where in London? Are you talking to another viewer in there? Oh, my camera works. Blooming jolty. Oh, look, that Kestrel is just above the railway line. They go up nice and high, and then they flap it one single swing. Oh, Beautiful. Probably seen a rat up on that. No, I didn't come from London, mate. No, I spent a lot of time in London um, with my dad. My dad lived in, um, where, did he, where did he live first? He lived Shepherd's Bush, and then he moved to Brentford, and then he moved to Isleworth in London. So a lot of the school holidays and Easter time, I'd spend a lot of time with my dad in London. So, And my dad was like what, was like what I am. You know, he walks and sees things and goes to museums, and that's all we ever did. So I suppose he's taught me to do all these walks and check out the history and all that from an early age. So big shout out to me, dad, who's now living in Taiwan. Um, he lives with his husband, James, my other father, who is an absolute legend from Norwich. And uh, they've made themselves quite wealthy, to be fair. And dad is a uh, basically a professional artist. He's absolutely awesome. I'm going to have to share about his page. You can see his artwork. Anyway, here we are. The Viaduct. Beautiful, isn't it? 14 arches, they call it. Dad's art is great. Yeah, it really is. I've got loads of it around the home. Um, he even done me a portrait of myself, so it's quite amusing having a portrait of myself on the wall. It's very quite vain, but it is not. It's just a present for me, Dad. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's windy. Yeah, don't think so. Well, no. They wouldn't have used cranes or anything to build this. Would have been men on their hands and knees on a bit of scaffolding building this amazing architecture wow oh, they have clear all of this as well oh, what well, that is very peculiar have they done that just so is that about why have they cleared it i mean yeah don't get me wrong it needs doing They get windy. But look at the red brick starting to show through the blue engineering. Look where the faces have been blown off. Awesome. Do 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 do. Anyway, look. One more thing, real quick, real real quick. So you remember I said about flood compensation because of a new road that they're building. What was that? This is it. And a few residents were getting quite scared. They thought it was going to be a new road because it does look like a new road but until something actually happened. I'm sorry, just turn this around. Sorry, you don't need to be seen that. Yeah, look. And, and it looks like a new road, but just on the other side of this is where there's a. Um, oh, don't focus on my finger. You idiot. Um, is it, they've literally scraped the whole land and they've created more flood land because they're deleting flood land by building on it down there. But why they've cleared all of this? It's a big shout out to Dan Beeman, a wonderful photographer, um, Northamptonshire photography page. Um, he kind of let me know there was something going on down here, but I think this is just land management. You see, Bovis Homes have come in and there is a thing of secure, maintain and protect. So this might be the maintaining part of it because this is their land now. And if they don't look after it, we can put in complaints and go, Oi, Bovis, off you go, love. 
Anyway, I suppose. Look at that. Beautiful. I suppose I'd better get out of here on this note. But yeah, thank you very much for coming to join me. Lovely. I'll try and do these walks one a week. Uh, I mean, there's another video that I want to do down at Nencor and explain the history just walking around because there's billboards I can read over to you. So um, I'll, next time I get out of a chance, I'll, uh, I'll have a look. So hit that like and subscribe button for me and hit that little notification bell. That notification bell is now going to be pretty important because when I go live, there's no warning about it, is there? <laughs> Not me. Can I hide here? Can I hide here? Of course I bloody can. No wind in here. So, um, yeah, hit that notification bell because it's going to be quite important for you. So when I go live, that's going to be the only notification you can get. So I'll go live and then, like I did back there, I'll wait five minutes for a few people to come in the room and then we'll go for it. So, yeah, hopefully I can do a lot more lives. Bloody right. Thank you for joining me. And big shout out to my patrons as well. You guys are absolutely brilliant. If you'd like to come and support the channel, I can't upload stuff to Patreon, but it is a platform where you can donate in and I can use it. At the minute, it's building really well. Um, I want a GoPro 10 or DJ Mavic 3, whatever. I'll let it build. So uh, thank you very much for that. It's over at pat um, patreon.com forward stroke purple vision. So, Ashley Roberts, hi from Cyprus. Hi. It's Gary, the big lad. Of course. How are you doing, Gary? All right. Just finishing up now, I'm afraid. I'm, uh, I've got to make my way home. I'm down at Wellingborough, fired up. We just had a look at the Chester House. Well, yeah, you're welcome, live or die trying, LSA. Absolute legend. And uh, I better get myself home for Tom. Beautiful. Peace, love, and light. Oh, heap of Wellingborough, you. D S O Z Z. Yo, but gotta go. Ha <laughs> ha, see you later. <laughs>